Coding is the center of many future jobs. And with raising children in the 21st century, it is crucial that they learn how to code even at a young age. According to Stacey Nelson, coding at a young age teaches both verbal and written skills, fosters creativity, and improves math skills by allowing your child to visualize abstract math concepts. It even develops confident problem solvers. And it also helps written performance because your child has to learn how to plan and organize ideas. Woo! That was a lot. So help get your child prepared for the 21st century by teaching them how to code through the use of a free app called Scratch Junior. Welcome to Educate Our Youth, where I go over tips, tricks, and strategies on parenthood, parent hacks, and just simply ways you can educate your child. If you're interested in any of those things, then support me by liking this video and subscribing below. And make sure you click those bell notifications so you can get weekly updates when I upload a new video. So before my administrative days, I was actually an instructional technology teacher. And I taught kids all the way from kindergarten through fifth grade. By far, one of the best apps I ever taught my children was Scratch Junior. Not only because it's free, but it's user friendly, fun, and it teaches coding. Today I'm pretty much going to do a step by step tutorial on Scratch Junior. It's really easy, it's really fun. Go grab an iPad and let's be one. Now I coded this creation in like five or 10 minutes. I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that you can create in Scratch Junior. Don't judge me, um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of some of the things you can do with Scratch. After you have your iPad, go into the Apple Store and then you're going to go into search and type in Scratch Junior. Once you see Scratch Junior, click Get and let it download. We're going to click this home button. This is your home page. Here on the home page, you will see all of your saved projects. So when you're ready to begin a new project, you're gonna simply click on this little plus sign and it will send you to the Scratch Junior page. Now here you will see Scratch. This is our friend Scratch. If you do not wanna use Scratch, you can simply hold him down until a little red X appears. When the red X appears, click it and Scratch will go away. So now we are ready to begin our very own scene. So right up here, you will see a background. When you click this, you will see various backgrounds and things that you can use. I wanna show you guys how you can make a car drive. So let's choose this background. Now, if you wanted to customize any background, you simply click on the paintbrush. And here you can just change the color of anything you wanna change the color on. You just click the building or click whatever it is. And at the bottom, choose a new color and it will change the color. When you're finished, you can click the check right there. So now I have my background and now I'm ready to begin to add any characters that I wanna add. So you're gonna come over here to the left hand side and click on the plus button. Now I'm able to see all of the different characters that I can use. First things first, I want to find a car because I want somebody to drive. Now I want to customize my person. I click on the paintbrush once again and I can change the color of my person. Now if you want to do something cool and use your face, you can click this little photo. Once you click that photo, you can actually take a picture. So let me take a picture really quick. And then it will have your picture. So now I can kind of change the skin tone of my person to kind of match my skin tone and change the hair. So I am riding in my car. When I'm done, I will click the check button at the top and we are ready. So once you have your first character item, you wanna put it in a starting position. Well, I want my car to start off all the way on the end of the road so it looks like she is driving in on the street. So I'm going to start her by clicking my starter icons. Those are the yellow icons right here. Now you have these starter icons, so you can have it automatically start when you click the green flag. You can have it start when you tap it or start when you bump it, etc. Now I want her to start exactly at the beginning and she is just going to drive to the right 10 spaces. In order to change the number, you simply click the number, you will see a keypad and then you can just type in 10. Perfect. You can simply click the green flag and it will show you exactly what you just coded. Perfect. So that sends her right in the middle. Now that's just boring to have a car just drive. So I want other people kind of standing here, walking away, etc. So I'm going to click on this plus sign to add more characters. So I want this guy kind of waving on the side of the street. So I'm going to have him waiting right there. 
I'm gonna have her standing beside him. So there you go. Now I want them to kind of have a conversation. So what I'm gonna have her do is right when the scene starts, I'm gonna have her say hello. Now these purple icons are all your people icons. And this is how you make things get bigger or smaller or even disappear. So I'm gonna just have her say, hi, what's up? And then I want her to walk kind of two places so that she can kind of bump him. Once she bumps into him, I want him to say, everyone come to my house. And then I want him to disappear. And then that is the end of him. That's all he's gonna do. So the red buttons are the ending buttons. So the ending buttons just have end or repeat. There's another ending button that we'll see in a second that you will kind of change the scene. But as of now, you just have end or repeat. Repeat will just have it continuously do the same thing over and over and over again. So once he disappears I want to go back to her and I want her to wait and then disappear as well so I'm going to click this button right here and on these buttons you have specialty icons such as repeating certain movements or waiting or even setting the speed of something let's have her wait 10 seconds and then she's going to walk and disappear and then she's done perfect now once they do that I want the driver to continue to drive so it looks like the driver is going to his house too. So I'm going to have the driver, once she goes to the middle, she is going to actually wait for about 20 seconds so it doesn't look like the driver is running into them. I want her to continue to drive another 10 spaces. And then it should end right there. In a minute, we'll change this ending. So I actually can delete this if I wanted to. In order to delete something, you simply just swipe up and you should hear that sound and it will go away. So right now we're wanting to see, did we code everything correctly? So you want to make everything full screen. You can just click on this icon and everything will go full screen. When you're ready to begin, you will always click the green flag. Oh no, so it looked like she hit them. So let's go back and let's actually have her wait 30 seconds and let's have her not drive so far. So let's have her drive seven spaces. Let's see if that fixes it. So now that we're done with that scene, I want it to look like everybody went to their house. So I'm gonna click this plus sign and now you have another scene. You're able to have up to four scenes, so just keep that in mind as you're coding and making stories. So once again, you have Scratch. Now, I don't want Scratch. Instead, I'm ready to start a new background, and I can click on this new house. Now, he actually lives with a dog, so I want to find a dog, and I'm going to have my dog there. So I want him to bark repeatedly. So this is how you would do that. You would start off with your starting icons, like always, and then remember when I said that this icon will let you do a move over and over and over again so I'm gonna click this and I'm going to connect it if you ever make a mistake you can just simply pull the puzzle pieces apart and put them back together when you're done it's really easy and then I'm going to click on the green speaker and this way I can actually make my dog bark so I'm gonna click the speaker and I'm gonna bark for the dog and if I want to see what it sounds like I'll hit play there we have my arf, 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 arf. And I want him to do that twice. No sense of him doing it four times. So he's gonna do that twice. And then I want him to walk three spaces to the owner. Perfect. So now I have to make my owner appear again. So I have to once again, go back in here, find him again and have him waiting right there. And I also want to have that other girl who was with him. So once he hits both of them, I'm going to want them to look like that they're walking in the door. What I'm going to have them do is when they get bumped, he's going to walk backwards two spaces. And then I just want him to shrink about three sizes and disappear perfect so you see how it looks like he went in the house I'm going to have her when she gets bumped she is going to go to the right two places then go up two places and she is going to shrink about six sizes and disappear as well and now they're done so after I have him go in the house I want the dog to continue to move once he moves I'm gonna have him kind of look like he gets happy so he's gonna kind of go up and down and then he's gonna move again and disappear 
and I'm done with my dog. Now in order to get the scenes to go from one scene to another, you go back to the first scene once you have your second scene ready, and now you should have another ending icon that shows you it's going to switch to scene two. So now I can just drag that scene two right here. In order to see my story, I make it full screen, and I'm ready to click my green flag to see what we created today. Now I can always do more and have the car go places, but you know, that is fine. Once you're done, you, you can always go back to the home screen. It'll automatically save your project. Now, if you haven't checked out my free Fisher Price app video, I suggest you check it out. I go over various free Fisher Price apps that go over phonics, shapes, colors, etc. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe below, and make sure you turn on those bell notifications so you can get my weekly tips, tricks, and strategies. See you later.